Cheers, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Bourbon and Booze. It's coffee time. It's Wednesday. Um, one of my favorite days because we're halfway through the week and looking forward to the weekend. But it's also a great day to start coffee. Um, so hopefully you enjoy this episode. Just stick around. We're going to be right back. We're going to look at some rain cane vodka. Hey, Cody. How are you today? <laughs> so we're getting ready to... Um, work our cocktails for Friday and um, some ingredients we um, tend to use a lot and vodka is one of them right yeah so uh, when I make uh, cocktails I really like a good vodka and we've used some different brands and everything but we discovered rain cane just recently and I poured you some and rain cane is probably one of the best vodkas we've had yeah it's been up there because you can no. <laughs> and you're not going to get any burn up your nose. Yeah. It's... And it's not low proof or anything. It's 40% alcohol. Yeah. It's an 80 proof common vodka um, from uh, Alaska. Actually, it's not from Alaska. It's from California. But they use Alaskan glacier water. Um, it is... The, so the... there's caveman pee in this? Okay. <laughs> Mammoth. Mammoth. Um... It's I really a, get the giant sloth and mammoth in this. <laughs> Nobody's going to buy it now. Um, Why wouldn't you? That's I, I just think cool. that this is what vodka should be. It is um, non-aroma, so it's not going to... Odorless, uh, colorless. Odorless, like. colorless. It actually tastes really good to me. It's got a... Yeah, but it's, not... It's a slight sweetness to it. Very, um, very slight. But it's not overwhelming, and I think this is what most bartenders look for in creating common um, cocktails. Now, yeah. if you're going to do a cocktail that requires a specific flavor profile that that vodka is going to intense or put into, like a flavored vodka, then that's yeah. different. But, but if you're wanting to make, say, a, a drink that also is alcoholic, but you don't want the alcohol to change the color or the, change the flavor with right. something weird and bitter, you use vodka because... It's supposed to be that. It's thing. supposed to be. And we've had people argue with us that no, vodka is supposed to taste like something. No, it's supposed to be odorless and tasteless. Well, yeah. And nothing's ever tasteless. Right. But. So um, we yeah. like Rain Cane. Um, and you can get this in the store for about $34 uh, a bottle, depending on your store. You can also get it online through Rain Cane for $34. But what I really like about Rain Cane is that you can order it online, and the more bottles you buy, the cheaper it is. And you can get on a subscription. So maybe you want to get a bottle every week or every month or every six weeks or whatever. And the more you um, put on your order, the less each cost. So if you get more than one bottle, so you get two bottles, then it's down to $31. Um, and they ship just about everywhere. Now, obviously, there's local laws um, that they have no control of. But if you're yeah. able to get uh, whiskey, or sorry, if you're able to get alcohol um, shipped to your house, um, which is most states, even here in Texas, um, then you can... Um, order this online and if you do um, there'll be a link below and that helps us out because we have partnered with them and we will um, continue to use rain cane and a lot of our cocktails that require vodka that um, don't need a specific style of flavor to it um, but it's a great great uh, vodka I think it's probably my favorite right now there's always changes but um, now there's flavored ones I like too but this is my favorite plain vodka, and um, we'll continue to use it. So check it out and let us know what you think, but make sure you hit that link for your ability to get a discount through us on Rain Cane. All right. Have a great day, and we're going to start making cocktails. Cheers. Cheers. All right. So today we are looking at um, a coffee that you should be able to get anywhere that Cracker Barrel is available. We picked this up at the Cracker Barrel restaurant one day. When we were there, we stopped in for a cup of coffee and liked it so much we picked it up. And so this is their restaurant blend, their regular coffee blend that they serve in the restaurant. It is 100% Arabica. It's ground, I didn't buy the beans, so it's a pretty nice uh, grind for drip pot. And it is very inexpensive at $10, $9.99 in the restaurant. 
Um, I have a love-hate relationship with coffee in restaurants. I either love it or I hate it. And it could vary by the restaurant. Um, even the fast food place like McDonald's or something. Some days I like the McDonald's coffee. Sometimes I hate the McDonald's coffees. More so often hate. Um, and the same way with restaurants because I usually serve community coffee or uh, uh, Maxwell House or... Um, Starbucks or, you know, Seattle's Best, something that's I'm not really um, enjoying day to day. And so it's just kind of bland. It's the normal, you know, bulk coffee. <clears throat> so it was a nice uh, change of pace to go into a restaurant and have a really good cup of coffee. It's got some nice charcoal, um, caramel, uh, cocoa. Um, charcoal, uh, oaky, um, aroma to it. <clears throat> a little bit of vanilla smells like. It's very pleasant, not acidic, not over, um, uh, roasted. Mm, nice and smooth and got a little bit of a, um, Earthy tone in the back end, but otherwise it's nice up front. It's just really smooth and delicious, and you get all that flavors, that um, caramel and cocoa and, and nuttiness in that coffee. Uh, whether it's at the store or here in my house, it's really great coffee, and at $10, not that bad of a price. In fact, I, I would choose this as my everyday coffee, but that's my opinion. Uh, I'm really interested in your opinion. If you had a chance to try the Cracker Barrel, what other restaurant coffee is really good um, that you know that's not going to be one of those mainstream coffees? Leave those in the comment below and tell us what other coffees you want to give us a, have us try. Uh, can't think of anything offhand. We still got some Hawaiian coffees and coffees from Mexico and then a smattering of craft coffees, but um, nothing really outstanding um, out there that I can think of that we need to go get. So you need to leave us some comments below. All right. I hope you have a great Wednesday. Make sure you check out Rain Cane Vodka. It's our preferred vodka. It's great vodka. Uh, Make sure you watch all of our other videos Monday through Friday, and we'll see you tomorrow for whiskey. Have a great Wednesday. Cheers.